Have you ever wondered how you could get referrals immediately from people who don't know you at all? Have you ever wondered how a stranger could go from a zero in your relationship to a 10 becoming an ambassador? How do you develop this army of ambassadors? And in some cases, you can actually create an ambassador from a perfect stranger just a couple of weeks before. How do we upgrade our database with the best people? What we have discovered is that in every city, every community, there are people who are more influential than others. These are called connectors. They connect others and they are well connected. So we have a networking play that will help you establish people as ambassadors and they could be a stranger as little as two weeks before. The networking play is very simple. Attend a networking function, invite them to a one-on-one, -on -one, and then host your own event or host them at your own networking event, mastermind, I love you latte, or some other client appreciation event. So the networking play is very simple. You attend networking events, you invite people to one-on-ones, which basically become an interview for them to enter your community, and then you will host an event where everybody in the room knows you as the point of contact. Now, what we need to do first is we need to attend a networking event in a way that allows us to connect with connectors. You have to realize in any networking group, it's really the top 10% that you want to network with. But who are they? Well, we're gonna discover that right now. How do we go to a networking event and walk out with the names of four or five of the most influential people, but not only that, but a one-on-one -on -one scheduled with each and every one? This is step number one of the seven steps to connecting with connectors. The first step is enter with the spirit of generosity. Go to the event with how are, am I going to help? How am I going to add value? And that is so counterintuitive. That is so counter to what people typically do. Typically, when people go to networking events, they're looking to get business and they're looking to see what they can take from the event. I want you to go in with the spirit of generosity. How do I go and give value? How do I go and give and build relationships? Step number one is the spirit of generosity. Go into your networking events with the spirit of generosity. Number two, and this is the key, about a week before the event, you're gonna call the organizer, the membership chair, whoever is actually holding the networking event that you're going to. You're gonna do that for two reasons. One, you're going to ask them, how are the intros done? Is it a formal introduction where they go around and you have like 30 seconds to introduce yourself? Or, and this is the case at most networking functions, is it informal? You are there to just introduce yourself to others and it's informal and casual. The second reason for calling the organizer is you're going to simply just ask them, who are the top four or five people that you should meet? Who are the influencers? Who are the connectors? And just say, listen, I'm in business. I love to work with business people. And I'm actually contemplating joining this group. Or, you know what, I'm interested in this group. Who are the three or four people that I should talk to who could tell me about this group and are the most influential or connected? They're gonna give you a name, maybe two. Ask for three, four, or five, and realize that what the organizer has now done has given you the four or five most likely top people in the group, the top 10%, the connectors, the people that you really want to build relationships with, you now know who they are. Now, number three is to Google and Facebook the connectors. You need to give yourself the opportunity to recognize their face. You need to know a little bit about them. You know, it's not stalking. It's Googling them and researching them so that you can be better prepared to have a good conversation with them. Now, number four, and I want you to hear me on this one. At this event that you are attending, you need to show up at least 15 minutes early. At least 30 minutes early is not annoying. 15 to 30 minutes before you're gonna show up, you're going to introduce yourself to the organizer, to the membership chair, whoever that person may be. But you're gonna to introduce 
to that yourself to that person in a very low key, low stress environment. But the second reason that you're going to show up 15 to 30 minutes early is to help. Help them set up. Help them put the signs up. Help them put the banners up. Help them get the registration table set up. Whatever it may be, jump in and help. First of all, it shows that you are there in the spirit of generosity and the organizer may reciprocate by helping you back. The second reason is because it puts you in the proper state of mind that you, are, you have a role of a server or helping or whatever it may be and you're gonna instantly feel more comfortable at that event. Now, number five is, this is key, you are going to have the organizer or the membership chair introduce you to the connector so you recognize a connector across the room don't go directly shake hands and start sharing what you know about them no nope. what we want to do is take a step back we want to find the organizer and and ask the organizer hey would you mind introducing me I've noticed that Cindy is here the organizer will introduce you to Cindy and you are incorporating the seven levels of communication strategy the triangle of trust, the third party endorsement. So the organizer and Cindy in this case have trust built up between the two of them. Now you have built trust with the organizer. When that introduction occurs, Cindy is going to have some level of trust for you because of the triangle of trust and you want to build all of your relationships on a foundation of trust and this is one way to do it. The next thing that you're going to do is you're going to have a, a conversation with Cindy. Now the thing about that conversation, it's 100% about them. And I want you to use another strategy from the seven levels of communication, which by the way, is the number one book in the real estate sales category on Amazon. In that book, I talk about a very powerful strategy for building rapport and building relationships. And it's Frog, yes, what can we learn from an ugly frog? Well, this frog is the acronym for what this conversation with the connector should go like. F is for family, ask them about their family. Do you have family in the area? Are you from this area? You know, do you have children? Whatever it may be. The R is for recreation. What do you do when you're not doing what you do? What do you do for fun? What, do, you know, do you play any sports? Whatever it may be. The O. Right to the O, the occupation. What do you do? What do you love about what you do? How did you get into what you do? What are you most passionate about, about what you do? And then the last, and there is a reason that the G is last in frog, is because then you're going to ask them about their goals. Now, you've already talked about family, recreation, and occupation. So when they tell you about their goals, they're instantly going to tell you what the most important thing in their life. They may share a family goal with you. They may uh, share a hobby or golf goal or a sport goal, or they may share an occupational goal with you. But the nice thing is that by asking, hey, what are your goals at the very end? You have the advantage of, guess what? You can help them achieve that goal. And when you help others achieve their goal, it'll help, they will help you achieve your goal. Number seven is the call to action. How do we take this relationship to the next level? How do we take the next step in the networking play? Is we invite them to a one-on-one. -on -one. Right there, we schedule with them a one-on-one -on -one during our networking stack at our home court advantage, which is a future video. The last thing I want you to know, if you wanna know more about how to execute a networking play to get referrals today, Go to callwithcoach.com. That's callwithcoach.com. Schedule your 30-minute strategy session. It is a strategic session, 30 minutes with a certified referral trainer and a certified referral coach, someone who has not only been there, done that, but they're still doing it and doing it at the highest levels. That's right. These are top producing real estate agents and top producing mortgage professionals who will help you for 30 minutes and get you to the next level. Thank you, I appreciate your time.